Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome back to the Land Ranger. I'm rocking uh, some Oreos and milk right now. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for all the engagement, man. It's, uh, it's blown me away, all the uh, interest inside of the Open 5GS stuff and then the port tool and all that. And God, I love Oreos. Um, yeah, anyway, um, we're going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a minute. The hot spot. We're gonna test the hot spot. Stick around. Thanks for watching. everyone thank you for joining i hope everyone is staying safe in this weather out right now uh, i know you know lots of the uh, power outages and stuff are still being worked on so you know i hope hope everyone's doing okay and um yeah welcome to another video and i told myself i wouldn't be doing any more plte videos but this one just it laid on me i had to test the hotspot. there was just no way around it it was a must in order for me to be satisfied with this project and um yeah i mean i it, it's it's just a simple test there's nothing crazy um i turned the gain down on the sdr and i am no longer using a band that is occupied by anything um you know like any interference around the house uh, or anything like that the antennas are the same but we are using um you know the same sdr and we're using mimo so uh it's pretty quick and <laughs> it, it's impressive um as far as range goes this thing is now down to six feet so there's no possibility for me interfering with anything unfortunately i can't register it with um uh, sas or anything of that like that um so this will be the last test for sure until i get my proper plte equipment um through salona or something of you know similar to that. I'd like to be able to get real uh, PLTE equipment so that I can actually do this uh, properly. And I am working on all that in the back end, but for the time being, I've turned the gain down. I've kind of segmented myself from everything that could interfere, and it's not on any frequencies that could interfere with anything around me. And uh, since the gain is so low, you know, walking out of my office. By the time I get through the door on my office, I'm already losing pings and I can't stay attached. So it is it is totally dead. It it barely even penetrates the uh, the window. Uh, so awesome. Anyway, let's do a speed test. This is my local speed test server. So this is on a um a physical box, and I'm currently connected over Wi-Fi six. So we'll go ahead and perform a speed test now. So that's pretty respectable for Wi-Fi 6 and, um, you know, about 30 feet away from the actual AP. So uh, if you're wanting to see what it's going to look like if we do the SDR now, I will be able to connect to my iPhone. And I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So if we come up here and go to the Open 5GS iPhone. Um, this will not let me load my home server because now we are on Verizon. So it is dead. Um, but if I come over here and plug in my B210, and remember this is still the the same B210 as in the previous videos. And if I open up a shell, which you should see come up on the screen here in just a moment. So let me go ahead and do that. Sorry if you hear me typing in the background. But, uh, and again, right now we're on Verizon. So all we're connected to is Verizon and we only have one bar. And of course I can't load my home server. 
So as soon as I get into my Open 5GS core, I will be able to turn on the uh, SRS LTE, SRS RAN. So let me get that pulled up. Probably should have already had this pulled up. Uh, let me see here, Open 5GS. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start broadcasting. And then I need to go on my phone and switch to my other eSIM, which is for Open 5GS. And I got to let the UE attach here. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from my iPhone. And then I'm going to reconnect to my iPhone. I'm not sure why it's still showing one bar. That's interesting. Should be able to load my dashboard now. Oh, no, I can't. Oop, did I break it? I broke something? Uh, maybe. Uh, let me let me disconnect and reconnect to the hotspot. Maybe that's what's going on. I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. Either that or I selected the wrong personal hotspot. It's still it's still like it's detecting Verizon. Yeah. Oh, wait, there we go. It's because I don't have DNS. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and do a speed test. <laughs> I love how DNS gets me in a video. That's fantastic. Not sure why it's still reporting two bars here. That's interesting, but um, we are connected to the phone. So uh, let's go ahead and do a speed test. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. That is so much better than it was. And if you're wondering how we did that, we are still on 10 megahertz bandwidth. But what we did do was we changed the actual uh, frequency to something that had nothing else on it. So the DL and UL are now completely silent with everything else around me. Um, you know, like no interference at all. I mean, I'm I'm literally talking like there's not even a microwave blip or anything, which there wouldn't be anyway at that frequency, but you get the picture. Um, of course, now we're doing MIMO, and I'm on a uh, the same machine, but I've also modified the um, CPU and the BIOS to give me a little more bump there. And, of course, this is um, USB 3. So this this these packets are traveling over USB 3, from the SDR. So this is a significant performance improvement over what we were seeing before. And not only that, but it's easily browsable on the internet now. Like I could go watch a 1080p YouTube video or basically anything that I want. And I could also access my internal resources in my home um, that are hosted behind this. So that's cool. And um, yeah, it's it's impressive. I. I just wanted to kind of show this to let everyone know, hey, you know, you can get more performance out of these things, um, despite them being so cheap, uh, and the fact that they are, you know, an unknown manufacturer, but every now and then it does still have issues. I did do some resource uh, investigation just to see, and the power save feature before um, on this Lenovo was causing some issues. I forgot what I turned off in the BIOS, but I did turn something off. It may have been power save states or something like that. But um, the CPU was sitting at 100% when doing a speed test. And it's still sitting at 100%, but it's almost like it's threaded, uh, or not threaded better, but at least using those cycles appropriately now. So it's considerably faster than it used to be. Um, but no, this is, this is great. Uh, just wanted to show this and show people that yes, data does work. Um, data works just fine. I can browse the internet, I can go to Google, I can load my internal resources. Of course, DNS doesn't work. 
but everything else does work and it looks like you know this is this is a completed project you're probably also seeing on the screen over there um of the preamble and all the logs that's coming in and um what's happening is the uh cpu is just unable to keep up and it's 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 partially a, a hardware thing um but yeah Nope. So uh, thanks for watching. And again, I hope everyone stays safe. And uh, this was just a short one. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much.